So these attacks in Paris have a lot of us talking about the role of religion in Western society. And unfortunately, because these people call themselves the Islamic State, a lot of great people I know who are Muslims have had to be on the defensive the last few days. And when I think about how am I going to talk about this um, in a context with my students. There is a passage from Voltaire, how fitting, a Frenchman, you know, a French enlightened philosopher. And in his philosophical dictionary, this was a dictionary that he wrote that was pretty much like just, a, you know, maybe like a blog before that was a thing. And he had something on all kinds of different topics. And one of the topics was religion. And he decided to go kind of the creative route with this one. And when Voltaire is writing about religion, he did it as like, here he is the main character. And he wrote it as a sort of fantasy or vision or dream or something like that. And what you see here is Voltaire's deism and the way that his religious outlook, which is really kind of the enlightened religious outlook par excellence, and kind of how this works. So it starts off with Voltaire just sitting and meditating and contemplating nature. And he looks around and he says, gosh, I mean, I am just in awe of that great being that designed this. And he thinks to himself, like, wow, somebody have to be a complete idiot not to see a god when they see this stuff. His words, not mine, for any atheists that are watching. But, I mean, Voltaire probably wouldn't care that he offended you or not. Uh, he was just that type of guy. But he's sitting there contemplating nature and contemplating this universal god that he believes in as a deist. And a genie shows up. And this genie kind of takes him on a bit of a trip. And they go and he sees this vision of piles and piles of bones and skulls and all of this. And Voltaire asks the genie, like, what is this? What caused all of this death and destruction? And the genie says, these are all of the people who have died in religious wars. And he says that we have had to separate these bones into four stacks because if we didn't, the pile would go beyond the sky. And Voltaire is just, just standing there in anguish, looking at the bones of all of these people who had been killed because of religion, you know, some because of Christianity, some because of Islam, but he's just amazed. And then the next step of this is he goes on a sort of a tour and he gets to meet some of the great philosophers of history. And first he gets to meet Socrates and he asks Socrates, you know, why is it that you were killed? And Socrates said, well, you know, these people, I tried to tell them that the sun and the moon weren't gods and they didn't like that. And all I said, you know, is there's a universal God out there and they killed me. And it's like, wow, you know, it's just people have a habit of killing philosophers. Then he goes on to the next stop and he meets Numa Pompilius, who, according to Livy, was the second king of Rome. And according to Livy's history, the Romans under Romulus, their first king, they were uncivilized. They were warmongering. They were, I guess, you know, really people who'd come in from other um, areas, you know, just uh, people who were criminals and all of that kind of stuff, you know, coming into this new city. And then the second king, they invited this Sabine to come in, a guy from a nearby city. And so Numa Pompilius introduced a religion of these Romans. And Voltaire asked him about this religion, and Numa says, well, it was a religion of civilization. It was a religion that taught people to love, and I taught them respect for God and love for one another. And Voltaire is thinking, well, that's great. You know, you are a true classical hero because you have brought a peaceful religion to an unpeaceful people. And because of that, you added an element of civilization where there might not have been any civilization. So he goes on again. 
And Voltaire is aghast because he sees this man that is bloody and beaten with holes in his hands and his feet and in his side and with a crown of thorns on his head. And Voltaire asks, what did they do to you? And this man says, I tried to tell them to love God and to love their neighbor as themselves. And Voltaire asked, did you try to tell them that the sun and the moon weren't gods? And this man says, no. The people who killed me didn't even think the sun and the moon were gods. They weren't even that advanced. They were a bunch of ignoramuses. Did you try to start a new religion? And he says, no. I went to their temple all the time. All I tried to tell them was, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And they put him to death for it. And then Voltaire has a few questions that he's asking that's kind of taken a jab at some Catholic practices. And he says, well, wait, wait. Wasn't there a time when you said that you came not to bring peace, but a sword? And the man looks at him and says, no, I never said that. I said that I come not to bring a sword, but peace. That could have been a scribe's error. Nobody meant anything by that. But, you know, I never said anything warmongering or anything like that. And there you go. Voltaire's kind of taking a little jab. There could be some errors in the Bible or something like that. And then he asks him, well, could I be a good person and love God and still eat meat on Friday? And the man said, hey, I always ate what was put in front of me. And then Voltaire figures, hey, I'm going to try one more thing. Would it be possible that I could love God and not tell all of my business to a priest? And the man says, well, I never did that. And so really what we see here is this figure, which, uh, spoiler alert, uh, this figure represents Jesus. Hopefully you figured that out by now. But this Jesus figure that Voltaire has created, this deistic Jesus, who, you know, kind of a hippie type, you know, who really only came to the earth to tell people, hey, love God, love your neighbor as yourself. And that is the sum of true religion. And Voltaire tells this man, well, I take you as my Lord. Because this man is saying the things that are of true religion from an enlightened perspective. It's kind of like Gandhi said, I love your Christ, but I'm not so crazy about your Christians or something like that. That Voltaire, who was very much a critic of Catholicism, of Islam, of really any kind of revealed religion, he sees that, look, religion has great potential to do good in the world. That if religion causes us to love more, then religion is a great thing. And that is what religion is about. It's about something that civilizes us and makes us treat each other better on a horizontal scale. It's not about what you believe about God and doctrines and all that. It's more about the here and now and improving life. So religion can be something that is a great influence on humanity and something that adds love to the world. And if it's not that, it's just a really sorry excuse for us to kill each other.